Welcome to another 6-inch Black Series review. Today we're going to be looking at the AT, at driver, or the AT-80 -AT driver, if you prefer. I've been saying AT, -AT since I was a kid, so that's what it's going to be here. This is number 31, and on the back it says, The Empire's combat drivers are trained to handle everything in the Imperial ground arsenal. But AT, -AT drivers see themselves as elite, controlling their massive four-footed assault vehicles in combat against rebel targets. So, let's not waste any time and get this guy out of his package. Alright, the first thing you'll probably notice when you get this guy out of the package is, or maybe even before, is that he is gray all over. Um, I believe, and I'm no expert on this kind of thing, but I believe that is in fact correct. Uh, we think of the uh, ADAT drivers as having white here, um, because, well, it, it appeared that way on screen, as I recall. And also, uh, the vintage toy had white there, as I recall, too. So, uh, it's not not too surprising that we think of it that way. But in reality, if you look at the actual um, helmets and whatnot, they were gray. Now, whether they were made gray with the intention of them appearing white on screen, I am not sure. Uh, that might, in fact, be the case. Uh, it's a bit of a conundrum sometimes, whether you want to replicate the actual prop as it existed in reality, or whether you want it to look like how it did on screen. I tend to um, favor replicating things how they appeared on screen more than the actual thing sometimes, but I don't know, it's it's kind of a judgment call. Uh, in any case, it's a pretty good looking figure. I, I've always liked this uh, helmet design. It's obviously kind of a, well, a, a variation on the Stormtrooper design, the, the, this part of the helmet is uh, basically just the Stormtrooper helmet with different colors. And, you know, it's also related to the TIE fighter pilot and, and all that. These are all related designs, but uh, it's, it's a cool looking one with the Imperial symbols there. And this, uh, this thing here in the front is also kind of cool. I've always been a fan of the AT, -AT frankly. I, I remember getting one when I was a kid. My dad did not want to pay full price, whatever that was at the time. Uh, and I can't blame him, really. I mean, it was an expensive toy. So we ended up getting it uh, secondhand. I think it was maybe a little bit after, you know, the excitement had died down after Empire Strikes Back, maybe. But, boy, I loved that thing. That was an awesome toy. And uh, this brings back some memories. I don't really have any complaints about this. This this part here is kind of a, a soft rubber, as are the hoses. Um, you know, articulation seems about what you would expect. I don't have any real issues with the paint job, although... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, looking at this uh, box in the front, that's actually very detailed paint job if you look at it closely. Look at all that, the little dots of paint. That would be hard to do by hand, much less in a factory environment, although I'm sure they have some way of automating that. So yeah, I don't, I don't have any complaints. I uh, think if you're in the market for a 6-inch AT, at driver, I would, uh, I would recommend this. Now, <laughs> it makes me think about what a 6-inch uh, scale AT, at might look like. That would be pretty impressive. I mean, that would be like, what? size of a horse, maybe, or a very large dog. Uh, I do... I didn't do a review of this, but I actually picked up one of the um, the First Order TIE Fighter uh, vehicles that they had. Uh, it was on clearance uh, on Amazon for like 60 bucks or something like that, something around there. And, you know, it was originally like 180 which is kind of crazy, but at 60 bucks I couldn't resist. And that is an impressive vehicle. That is very, very large and impressive. I don't think they're going to go bigger than that. I think that was kind of a uh, testing of the waters, and I'm not entirely sure how successful that was, because it did go on to clearance, and uh, it wasn't too hard to get it for way less than the original price, but I would certainly be interested to see more vehicles in this scale, uh, especially if they weren't, you know, they don't have to make the Millennium Falcon in this scale, but they could make, like, even a, a sail a skiff or uh speeder sand speeder that kind of thing would be would pretty be pretty awesome or even a, a snow uh speeder would be amazing 
uh, or uh, an X-Wing. Just think about that. In any case, uh, thanks very much for watching, and let me know what you think of this figure.